welcome to the channel so today i will share with you three things and uh, all the things related to how to generate images so the first thing would be like uh, analog to mid journey and uh, dali and uh, this would be like the library which you completely which is completely free and you can use it uh, on your local machine second thing uh, would be actually how to run how to run such models without gpu this would be the service which you actually where you can rent the gpu power and it's not advertising i just uh, use it for my own and uh, it's just to show the workflow and uh, the third thing would be the actual workflow so we will see how to actually set up the service like this and how to run the model so the first it's a library called focus and uh, i use it when i want to generate some images because for me personally it, it gives like a lot more uh, quality than Midjourney or dali because i run it uh, on a rented uh, gpu so how we can actually use it uh, before using it we should uh, get our gpu because on your macbook or on laptop it would be very slow to run this one um, if you want to like generate hundreds of images it's uh, it's not a good idea to run it without good gpu so we're going to the next thing uh, the actual service to rent gpu again um, it's not advertising um, i just uh, i found one which i use and uh, as you see it's called Wast AI, and uh, we can rent here, uh, for example, 4090 for 0 0.5 dollar per hour, and uh, I think it's pretty great. So you you should just like register on some uh, alternative uh, service or this one, and uh, but yeah, uh, it's important to have here the dedicated server which you can connect to and run, for example, Jupiter there. I, I hope you know what is Jupyter Notebook. For example, here you see it provides me an option to have uh, Jupyter already installed. So I select some random size. Uh, for example, it, it would be like uh, size of the disk. And uh, I want to run this one, for example. Let's see our instance. So when it would be ready, I will run Jupyter on the dedicated server and uh, I will show you how to actually run this library on this server and how to generate images and how to save them after all. So let's click here we have icon uh, connect directly via Jupyter. Uh, this one you can uh, like skip. So we are connected and uh, what I would do, I would go to workspace. It's like um, you can use uh, any folder you want, but I have a predefined script which I built before and it works with uh, this workspace folder. So I will create notebook here, new Jupyter notebook. And I will paste here the script which I will share in the description. So it actually will update the dependencies, then it will clone the actual library of Focus, this one, and uh, it will clone it to the like to the directory which we are in right now, it's workspace. Then we go to this Focus directory and uh, we run the command to actually run the server of this library with all the things we need. So let's run this command you 
usually it takes like from one minute to five minutes and uh, after it will be installed and you for example select different uh, options in this library for example outpaint it will download additional models to get this functionality so now we have some local url but we're waiting for uh for url like uh for everyone we, we can share this one and uh, seems like it's done and let's try to actually let's try to generate something for example um, yeah it's very important that we have here um, the advanced options and there are a lot of options maybe i will record additional video about all the things and uh, what is the best set up for a particular case usually if you want like to be to have a quality quality image you should you should select quality here uh, here it's image number which will be generated per one session or when you click generate uh, the format and these are aspect ratios also you have many many stuff to select here but i would not recommend to use it uh, right now if you don't understand how it works uh, so let's see what we want to generate photorealistic nature background let's see we want like three images so it will be like three different images And we have our image. It looks like uh, it's really photorealistic, but uh, still we we can have uh, like better view. Like for example, this one. You, I think you would never say that this is AI generated. And this one also is uh, like pretty realistic. So let's try to generate something else. For example, photorealistic man. and not deal with it. Have a day. Let's see, and uh, yeah, what we said sometimes we need to wait until all the steps are complete. So, yeah, it's. Um, pretty hard to say uh, whether it's AI generated or not and uh, if you will try to generate more and more here or in DALI and Midjourney I think you will also see that uh, this approach like uh, gives you more realistic photos and images so yeah that's it uh, you also can use here a variety of different options like upscaling, image prompt, even face swap and in paint, out paint, describe the image. But again, I think I will record a digital video about it. Um, that's it. Thank you guys. Don't forget when you when you're done, don't forget to destroy your instance here. I always always forget to do this. Um, so here you have destroy your instance. You just destroy and uh, agree that's it oh actually i forgot the really um the really important one about where you have uh, your actual data after you finish all your sessions so it's pretty simple i already deleted my instance but here in workspace you would have the focus folder and there you will have like outputs folder and you will have all the images there you don't need to save them manually so yeah that's for sure it